There are two other over-the-counter compounds that are in active use out there for treatment of ADHD and in use for simply trying to improve focus. And the first one is L-tyrosine. It's an amino acid that acts as a precursor to the neuromodulator dopamine. And now knowing everything you know about dopamine attention and the circuits involved, it should come as no surprise as to why people are exploring the use of L-tyrosine for that purpose. L-tyrosine does lead to increases in dopamine. They are fairly long-lived and L-tyrosine can improve one's ability to focus. However, the dosaging can be very tricky to dial in. Sometimes it makes people feel too euphoric or too jittery or too alert that they are then unable to focus well. So the dosage ranges are huge. You see evidence for 100 milligrams all the way up to 1200 milligrams. It's something that really should be approached with caution, especially for people that have any kind of underlying psych psychiatric or mood disorder, because dysregulation of the dopamine system is you know, central to many of the mood disorders, such as depression, but also especially mania, mania bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, things of that sort. So it's something that really should be approached with caution. Nonetheless, in exploring what's out there and even some studies online that were done, either animal studies or human studies, it's clear that L-tyrosine is being explored for that purpose, as is PEA and phenylethylamine, which is a uh, essentially PEA, but some related compounds. So there's a whole class of dopaminergic or dopamine stimulating supplements that people are using to try and get their dopamine levels up. And again, it's a it's kind of a fine line between uh, too little, enough, and too much. If you want to get the literature on those two compounds, there I will refer you to um, this great website, examine.com. Um, just as it sounds, and you can put in L-tyrosine or PEA and you can get the details on that. But I highly recommend also going to their section on ADHD to see how those particular comments relate specifically to ADHD and cognitive focus.